we have many things to reflect on, not only the scriptures, but uh, in the gospel, but also uh, the other things that we celebrate today. Um, to, today we're celebrating, uh, uh, as we have here, at the St. Isidore, and uh, we already anticipated this Mass uh, by celebrating it in the uh, in the farm, uh, the whose farm was it now? Albus. The Albus farm in uh, north of Little, uh, well, north of uh, Leveland, uh, be below Littlefield, and so on. So that we already anticipated it, and uh, and of course that is one of the uh, oldest traditions here in our diocese, and we wanted to remember today with St. Isidore Layman, whose wife, Maria de la Cabeza, Toribia, is also a saint. So you can use that for marriages, a couple that are mm -hmm. saints. And a farm laborer associated with miracles. He was such a mystic that uh, as he was uh, working in the fields, he was in prayer, and then the angel did his work. Because he was so, oh, not bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. But first you have to be a mystic and be in prayer, okay? So, a uh, patron of Madrid, because his field was also in Madrid. Madrid, uh, let's see, this is 1130 when he died. Madrid did not exist at that time. Madrid, uh, in fact, when uh, the discovery of America uh, in 1492, Madrid was nothing, it was nothing but a, a little farming community. No more than that. It was not the capital. The capital was, uh, is the, uh, I, who was the capital of the world, uh, where uh, the great painter El Greco is from. Uh, uh, Barcelona. No, oh. no, no, no. They took off anyway. Uh, it's Madrid was practically nothing. So later on, it became the uh, the capital of uh, of Spain. Uh, Toledo. Toledo was the world's capital. Uh, and, and so uh, so right now his, uh, his farm that he labored is probably just streets and everything else of Madrid and uh, plowed under. And, uh, uh, but we, we do have this great tradition and so uh, uh, the, uh, the farmers do give us a, a, a good sense of our spirituality of how it is tied to the soil as well. So, uh, also, we just celebrated uh, uh, just um, St. Matthias uh, yesterday, uh, the one who took the place of uh, Judas Iscariot. And, uh, and uh, I find this, uh, this solemnity, this feast, a very, how would you call it, most loving approach and respectful approach to Judas. Uh, the church doesn't condemn him. The church doesn't, it just recognizes it's part of God's plan. And with the utmost care then, uh, chooses Matthias. So when we see here, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me, reference to Judas. That then the, the church does it with great care to replace him in order to fulfill, in order to fulfill the the uh, the role of the twelve uh, apostles as well as the the, uh, the missionary effort to go and love one another, and so it shows great love for Judas' own special role.